is it possible to get all of the experience and education of a college performance degree without actually having to go to college and spend that money? My name is Josh Gu, and after years of studying the clarinet with some of the best teachers from around the world, I am excited to be sharing my knowledge with you. So go to quickstartclarinet.com or check the description on this video to see all of the wonderful resources I have to help you reach your clarinet dreams. And of course, subscribe to this channel for weekly clarinet and music tips and tricks. All right, this is the last and possibly most interesting and definitely most wild of my sort of little college mini series that I decided to put together. Uh, I know that this is sort of coming out right after the deadline to accept your college offers and whatnot. Uh, so if you've already committed to a college, don't drop out just yet. But I thought it'd be interesting to ask the question if it is possible to get the value and experience of a college music performance degree without actually having to go to college. So my first big caveat is that this is much more focused towards a music performance degree rather than a music education degree. I think if you're wanting to go into education, I think you should just go for the traditional degree. Yes, there's ways to get certified uh, without that, but I think getting a teaching job without actually having the degree on your resume could be quite challenging. Whereas with performance jobs, often it's mostly down to just winning an audition. So you might ask yourself, why do I have to spend all the thousands of dollars and spend all of the time in university to just be able to win an audition? And yes, there's value to the university and lots of stuff that you can get out of that. But let's see if you can do it without actually going to school. I think one of the biggest questions when it comes to going to college is really what is the value of it when we live in a world where you can really learn anything that you need to online. And that's absolutely true for clarinet specifically or probably most instruments. Uh, for example, this channel is a great resource for learning lots about music and playing the clarinet. Yes, it's not the same as a four-year degree and I'm not saying that it is, but if you get a little bit creative, I think you could come close to learning just about everything you need to online. The things that I would definitely recommend that you study independently and get into would be music theory, aural skills or ear training type things, and musicology, the general study of music, music history, that kind of stuff. And I think it's very possible and very feasible to learn all of those things on your own through online resources. So that sort of checks off that requirement from the music degree. The other thing that you're going to need to do if you're doing it on your own is just practice like crazy. And that's what we do in music school anyways, is just spend a lot of time practicing, a lot of time preparing for performances, preparing for lessons, and things like that. So I think it's very feasible to do that on your own outside of the setting of school. The last thing that I would highly encourage you to do is actually take lessons. And oftentimes it is possible to take lessons with your local university professor uh, without actually attending that university. Yes, you do still have to pay for those lessons, so that will be a cost. I estimated that if you do pretty regular lessons, about 40 lessons a year, and it varies a lot on the particular professor, but if we assume around $100 for one lesson with the professor, then that puts you at about $4,000 a year, which certainly isn't cheap, but it's certainly a lot cheaper than going to school, especially depending on where that professor is teaching. It could be over $40,000 a year to study with that teacher at the university. So the $4,000 a year seems very feasible. The other thing is you don't have to take lessons every single week. You could very feasibly do 20 lessons a year and still get quite a bit out of it if you're very diligent about practicing on your own. So between doing things online and actually taking private lessons with a great teacher, that should give you just about all of the information and general skills that you're going to need to truly be a professional musician, but you still are going to need the experience of actually playing in orchestras, playing in bands, playing in chamber groups, and, and getting that experience. Luckily, there is a version of sort of like a university, but it's much more compact, 
and much more affordable in the form of summer festivals. So I'm not sure, it probably varies from summer festival to summer festival if you actually have to be enrolled in a college to be able to go there. I know some of them allow people who've already graduated to go to the summer festivals. Um, and I think oftentimes they don't require a degree, but definitely feel free to correct me in the comments if that is not the case. But I think it'd be very feasible for you to practice on your own or with a private teacher and be able to apply to these summer festivals and go where you play with orchestras, play in chamber groups, take more lessons with a different teacher and get all of that real world experience that you're gonna need. The other big benefit of doing festivals is that's what's going to be your resume booster. I would imagine if you went to Aspen, went to Tanglewood, went to all of those big named summer festivals, even if you didn't have a degree in music, I think you could stand a chance at getting auditions at different orchestras, especially smaller, more regional or local orchestras would gladly take somebody who has that summer festival experience, at least to hear the audition and, and get invited to the audition. And then from there, it's your own practicing and all of that work to actually win the audition. And then once you've gotten into a small orchestra, then you can sort of build up from there. And that would be another thing that I would generally highly, highly recommend is to try to get into a local professional group. So whether it's getting those summer festival experiences first before you're able to audition for those, or maybe you can even get into one of those right out of high school uh, and then do the summer festivals in addition to that. I think those are all gonna be really good resume boosters. Now, of course, this does cost money. I think I'm putting the average summer festival cost at around $4,000 a year again. So between that and 40 lessons, you're looking at about $8,000 a year for this sort of do-it-yourself music degree, but I think that's, again, quite favorable compared to your average university or your general four-year degree at one of these conservatories. And again, that's a little bit high on the estimate. You could certainly do less lessons. You could probably find less expensive summer festivals, and you can also be working um, either on a regular job or working uh, teaching lessons in addition to it. Teaching lessons is also a great way for you to extend and expand on your own education as well, because if you can teach it, then you have a much better chance of being able to do it. Now, the last big important thing that's going to help with the resumes and help with your experience is to be sure to be doing competitions as well. It's very feasible, and this is how the careers of lots of soloists start, is actually in high school or very early in college, they might win one of the very major competitions that actually gets you a manager to be a soloist, and it's completely feasible to do that without going to college. Going to college makes it a lot easier because you're in that environment where you're gonna be practicing more and studying with other people and having the motivation and all of that stuff, uh, but it's feasible to do it without. And that sort of brings me to my general conclusion about this idea. I just wanted to throw this out there as kind of a crazy idea, and I, I think as more and more information gets out there onto the internet and we become more and more resourceful at finding the good information on the internet, I think it's very feasible that you can get all of the same information. The thing that you're lacking though, doing this on your own rather than going to the university setting is one, the general connections. Um, there's just so many connections with your peers and your professors that you're gonna find at the university. Yes, you can get some of those at summer festivals and in the local professional groups that can be equally valuable. So it's a, a little bit of a trade off there whether you sort of automatically get it in university or really have to work to find it yourself. But the other big, big thing that I think is not worth overlooking is the structure and sort of motivation of doing college and being in that university setting because you have to go to your classes. You have to have lessons that you're practicing and preparing for. You have to have concerts that you're practicing and preparing for. And you have those semesters or quarters or whatever the system is where you're in there and you're doing the thing and you have those deadlines of getting this information learned and getting whatever it is practiced and prepared. So it's, it's very easy to 
lose motivation or just get distracted with other things when you aren't in that kind of school setting. And I think that's probably the biggest value that school and actually going to a university brings into the equation of learning to be a musician. So that's my sort of game plan if you wanted to try it. Again, if you're planning on going to college or you're already in college, that's great. It's, it's the, the traditional thing to do and it makes a lot of sense. And again, I think there's a lot of value in it. But if you want to try doing something crazy, you could try it out, see what happens. Um, but yeah, this isn't personal advice. You do whatever you think is best for you. This is just a kind of a crazy idea that I think could be possible. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if there's anything that I missed about anything that is exponentially more valuable at a college or university that I didn't mention compared to what you can do on your own. And I look forward to reading all of your responses. And thank you for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you in another one.